This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's um, vlog. First off, um, it's been a heck, heck of a time the last few weeks, and I really think that um, we we have done some of our our, our best work. Uh, I've been very excited to bring Warm Pieces back. I've been very excited with the stuff I've been doing for uh, Board Game Geek uh, TV, and uh, it's it's a good relationship because there's not a lot of pressure and. I'm doing a lot of things, um, but one of the things that I've I've always struggled with is I really enjoy doing my live painting. It's it's something that I, I feel I, I for the most part originated, and um, always trying to teach people as we went, and I found more or less that it is boring as all hell. I mean, plain and simple. Uh, who is going to sit there and watch me for two and a half hours paint? Um, but it was just something I kind of powered through. I kind of knew that it wasn't very successful, um, but I would just do it anyways. And a lot of it came down to what game I went. But watching paint dry can be a pretty boring thing. I think um, one of the things that I'm trying to do is cut the time down. And I think I can successfully do that uh, by taking and uh, painting to a certain point taping that and doing a talk over like you saw on kingdom death monster this week i think cutting things down to 20 minutes to 30 minutes is really good i also think doing live stuff for 30 minutes is good i think doing a game for an hour not doing these three or four hour uh things that cutting off the live streams to to an hour is good enough People go there and they talk with themselves, and, and that's great that you guys can get together and talk, but that's why you have Discord. You can sit there and talk to each other until you're blue in the face. I, 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 think, I, I think what works best for me is when people are engaged, and the numbers have gone down. So live streaming isn't really worth it. Is, is, it, is it quick? Is it efficient? Oh God, yeah. It makes things a lot easier to to you know, not have to edit and this, that, and the other. That's why I did it a lot and I was able to do more content with it. But I found that it was just time to kind of scale that back, do better co uh, content where I can concentrate and make sure that I, I put out better content. This week we're gonna be taking a look at, at the Barnes and Noble Big Three, okay? And what I mean by that is Barnes & Noble came out with an exclusive three game set from Games Workshop. Blitz Bowl, Space Marine Adventures, which this afternoon, it is Sunday, uh, I'm hoping to do before the playoff games, uh, just sit down for an hour and do Space Marine Adventures live for you. I think it's Space Hulk Light, to be honest with you, and I think it'd be fun to do. Uh, and they came out with Lord of the Rings Quest for Mount Doom, which I didn't really know too much about all three of these games, but after going through all three of these games, wow. So this week you're gonna see those those three videos. They're already made, perfect. Now I can concentrate on the painting aspect and taping that. So when I'm painting things, I can tape and put it together and get it to a certain point where I know that I can finish every single model in less than uh, example models in less than 30 minutes so do all the little highlights that you might want to see and we could do that live so we still keep our live painting i don't i want to get away from the two to two and a half hour uh, live painting videos and i want to keep it where it's the end phase and we kind of show you uh how to finish it up bases and so forth and so on some additional little highlights and things like that and finish up while taping and keeping that to anywhere from 30 to 20 minutes and I think I think that'll help a lot instructionally where you cannot sit there for hours and wait for me to get to a certain point where you may already be you can kind of skip ahead and find certain points so I think that's going to to work um 
uh, another thing that has happened is a girl that we had sent our our um, dungeon quest to uh, three years ago when we started the channel uh, passed away finally. Uh, unfortunately, she was a very sick girl, had a very tough time, and uh, the father and daughter they, they they weren't around the channel very much, um, you know, because obviously you know she's been very very sick. Well. I got this letter about a week ago and called Pete, uh, a matter of fact, and we talked. And I was kind of shocked to, to hear from them. And unfortunately, she had passed away. And uh, they needed some money um, to, to bury her. He was able to take a loan. Now, I'm not going to mention any names or anything like that. But we're going to do what we can to help them. Um, the game I sent them was my original uh Dungeon Quest, which was one of my favorite games of all time and meant the world to me. But I had painted all the figures. It was the first edition, it was the box edition. And he wrote me back now that she's gone. And it was her favorite game. He would like to send it back. So uh, he let me know that he had sent it back. So uh, when I get it back, um, I'm going to be auctioning off some of my other editions of Dungeon Quest. And I'm going to keep that one because it's going to remind me of her. And was one of the first people that we had helped uh, when we started the channel. When I, I think we had like 500 people <laughs> watching. Um, it just made it, it kind of brought things back that we kind of do make a difference to a degree. But you know, it's a very tough world out there, and um, I have very few friends in it. Very, very few. And I, I'm thankful for people like uh, Bauer, Forrest Bauer. Um, Lance, Pete, and a lot of other people. I, I, I tend to pull back because my, my concentration's here. I work a full-time job. But I think, you know, the message of this channel never goes away. It's funny that in a world where you can be anything, I think the one thing that is most important is to be kind. And if you can be kind... You can earn your way in a, in a world and in a, a, a place where all you hear is just these horrible, horrible things. If you can go to bed and, and tomorrows are never guaranteed, end your day by putting a smile on somebody fa somebody's face, then you've done a great thing. It's not about how much money you give or this, that, and the other. It's how you treat each other. Happiness is a choice. It really is. You don't realize it, but happiness is a choice. And I really believe that you guys can do a lot of good to each other and everyone else. And I just hope that's, that's something that resonates here at the channel. Now, we've got a lot going on. And I'll tell you, I, I have been on the spot. I think things have been more energetic, more pointed. Um, and, and we're doing things the right way, the honest way. We're not buying views. We're not buying subscriptions. All we're doing is making content and not worrying about anything else than just giving you the best that we feel that you would enjoy. It's not for everybody. It's not. And I kind of am all over the place. But aren't we all in a way? Don't we all, when we play it sometime, you know, we start one thing and go to another thing. All you're seeing is what you guys really do at home. Nothing different. There's no act. There's no, uh, you know, big studio behind me. There's no nothing. This is just a bunch of games, a table, and we're going to sit here and we're going to play. And, um, you know, and we're just going to relish the people that are with us. And uh, for that person that lost uh, his daughter, he, I, he can't imagine how badly I feel for him. And getting that game back, it kind of came full circle. And I just think in my heart of hearts that, um, that you know, that's something this time it ain't leaving. Um, it did its job. It made it all the way out there. And now it's coming all the way back. And it has a story to tell. You know, games have stories to tell. You don't realize it. But they they tell different viewpoints in your life. 
uh, kind of like the video I did on Friday where I talked about what made me a gamer. Because every one of those games had a story. It didn't mean they were my, my favorite games of all time. They had stories. They told beautiful stories. And what they did, it, you know, it may not be the game itself that told the story, but it, the game, the game tells a story because of the experience that I had with others, the experience I had with a brother or, or whatever. Those are the things that made that game, that particular game, and made things what they are. So, yeah, it's kind of the death of live streaming. We're going to be doing a, uh, something a little bit different, though, uh, where it's more participation as far as live streams go. And we're going to we're going to be doing live stream games, but they're going to be broken up. We'll do part one, and then we'll do a part two, and then we'll do a part three, um, because we're not going to sit there and play it all the way through, unless it's something that we can get done in a reasonable amount of time, or we have Tina with us, which is always something different. So um, where we can get you in and and keep it nice and short and sweet and and good. Uh, that's the way we're going to do it. So look for Space Marine Adventures. That'll be our next live play. Uh, and we've got uh, the following weekend, we're going to be doing uh, Dark Sands, which I promised. That's a longer game. We're going to have to break it up in, into some things. and uh, But it will stay until we get it done. And uh, Or maybe we just do it to a certain point. You never know. You know, just giving you a taste and a flavor of things and having you involved. I think is the most important thing. All right. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. We've got a lot of things to do. So I hope you all enjoy Championship Sunday. I hope you all have a wonderful week as always. And as always, it is your old friend, Rob. Until next time, we'll see you soon.